Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 2 of Book 4. And this proposition gives us the methods required to take any triangle and to create a similar triangle inside another circle. And by similar, I mean that all the angles inside of this triangle will be the same inside of this triangle. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is to draw a line, GH, such that it touches the circle at point A. The next thing we need to do is we need to copy the angle epsilon to the point A. So we have copied the angle epsilon to A using the methods described here. Now we are going to do the same thing with the angle lambda, only this time we will make an angle towards the point G, so B, A, G is equal to lambda. B and C are the intersections of the two lines with the circle. And now we draw a line between B and C. Now this triangle, A, B, C, is equal angular to the original triangle, D, E, F. To prove this, well, we have to go back to Book 3, Proposition 32, but basically it states that since GH is touching the circle at A, and since AC cuts the circle, this angle, epsilon, is equal to the alternate segment. Alternate segment means not this side, but this side of the line. The angle of the alternate segment. So this angle here at B, is going to equal epsilon. Again, if you want to refresh your memory, go to Book 3, Proposition 32. Similarly, the angle here, BCA, is equal to lambda. So now we have a triangle that has M epsilon and lambda as two of its angles. And finally, let's look at this angle, delta. The sum of the given angles inside a triangle is 180 degrees. So delta plus epsilon plus lambda is equal to 180 degrees. Now we also know that on a straight line, the sum of the angles is also equal to two right angles. So if that's equal to two right angles and the sum of these are equal to two right angles, this means that this angle here is also equal to delta since epsilon plus lambda plus delta equals two right angles. And there we have two triangles with both having the angles epsilon, delta, and lambda. Epsilon, delta, and lambda. So we have successfully drawn a new triangle inside our circle that is equal angular to the original. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.